now my uh, privilege to introduce the leader of Britain's largest public sector union, Dave Francis. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's great to be here with you in Birmingham on a day when history is being made. The largest coordinated industrial action, 27 unions standing united together, shoulder to shoulder, to protect our pension schemes. And the biggest demonstration of determination and defiance this country has witnessed for almost a century. And today... Today, history is being made not by politicians, not by those in the twilight zone of Westminster, not by the bankers, definitely not by the business leaders. Today, history is being made by all of you in this hall today and also the millions of ordinary women and men, few of them militants or ardent activists, many thousands who have never ever taken industrial action before, showing your courage, your resolve, and shouting out loud, enough is enough. <laughs> decent women, decent men, who on any other day of the year are working tirelessly for their communities, dedicated, devoted to people, the families, the communities that they serve, ensuring we are safe, ensuring that we're healthy, our children are educated, our future is protected. Little noticed, rarely thanked, often maligned, often taken for granted. But today, today, in every town, every city, every single part of the United Kingdom, will see us rise up together. Our people on whom our communities so much rely, gathering outside every school, every hospital, every library, public office, lining the high streets, filling the town centres, 15,000 marching through Birmingham this morning. Making our stand with bravery, with dignity, most of them women, many taking action for the very first time. And tens of thousands of younger workers drawn into our movement by this campaign. And here in Birmingham, I actually salute the 10,000 Unison members who have already taken action twice this year. Today, I'm joined by another 4,500 school staff, hospital workers, police staff, community workers, our members bravely fighting back against a council that making massive cuts to the wages of the lowest paid. Women like Jeanette, women like Jeanette, a part-time home carer, today she earns just £281 a week but this council wants to cut her pay by £85 a week. And it's brave women and men like you who are making a stand today, sacrificing your own pay, standing up against intimidation, sending out a message loud and clear, you may take us for granted, but we will not be taken for fools. We may be law servants of the public, but we will not be made scapegoats for the self-serving politicians, too cowardly, too corrupt, to turn round to the bankers and say, you caused this crisis, you pay for it, you clear up this mess. And in the very week, the very week 
when we are told that decent, secure pensions are a thing of the past, in that very week, the bankers have paid themselves Christmas bonuses of four and a half billion pounds. Four and a half billion pounds in the very week that we're told that 710,000 more jobs have got to go. In the very week that public service workers have been told that there will be a four year pay freeze when energy prices are going up by 19% and food prices are going up by 8%. And why? Why? We've got 7,000 jobs to go, our pension schemes to go, because the banks will not pay for the deficit that they created. And we've been told, we've been told everywhere, that this country can no longer afford well-funded public services. Why? Because the banks and the rich are avoiding paying their tax. that we've got to get used to high unemployment, falling wages. Why? Because the banks are not lending and not investing. And what I'd like to say, and I say on every platform, that if the wealth of the richest in our society in the middle of a recession can increase by over 30% in one year, if the rich can avoid paying tax to the extent of £35 billion, and if there's money to bail out the banks and for bankers' bonuses, there's money available to give our young workers a decent job. There's money available for our public services. And there's money available to protect our pensions. And if money is tight and savings need to be made, Never mind the pay freeze in our members, how about pay freeze on the bankers? We've seen enough of what they've done. We've had enough of their greed, their arrogance. And if the bankers and the billionaires threaten to resign or leave the country, if they don't get the bonuses, we say, we say, let them go. And we'll accept, we'll accept none of the emotional blackmail from politicians that we should not be inconveniencing the public. If this coalition is so worried about the people who use our services, they shouldn't be closing them down. Yeah. And if this coalition is so worried about disruption, they shouldn't be privatising them. And if they're so worried, if they're so worried about the old, the sick, or the young, they shouldn't be shutting down the care homes. And they should start getting young people back into work. And for the ministers who thought that they could bully and intimidate us today, today is their lesson and their warning. And to the millions of working people throughout the land suffering at the hands of this cruel coalition, this rally, everything that's going on throughout the UK today will help to stop them, give up hope. So let today be the day that we all take heart take courage and resolve to stand and fight for what is right. Be proud of what you have done today, the day that we all made our stand, the day that we made a difference, the day that you all made history, and I'm sure that one day we will all look back and say, this is the day that we turn the tide. And so we say with one voice, one united voice, Hands off our jobs, hands off our public services, and hands off our pensions.